Welcome back, Marco here from BlitzGuitar.com. Today I want to talk to you about improvising and how you can come up with your own phrases, your own melody, and how can you improvise, you know, a melody on guitar. Um, I want to really challenge all the beginners here because I'm going to try to break it down in a way that is so easy that everybody can just give it a try and, you know, create some music. Now, when we think about improvising, we always kind of think about the ultimate you know, way of creating music, which is combining chords, melody, rhythm, different kind of techniques and all that, but it is a way to break it down and really take it step by step. So for this video, I want to show you probably the easiest way to come up with your own melodies. We're going to, going to use two chords and only two strings, but we're going to start with one string only. And I'm going to show you how creative you can be with only two strings, okay? Even one string, okay? Now. Let's have a close up. Let me show you how to do that. Guys, make sure that you subscribe to the channel if you want to, you know, keep up with all the upcoming lessons and if you want to learn some more about playing guitar and some really cool tricks like this one I'm going to show you today. Um, let's have a close up and let's get started. All right, guys, let's get started. First of all, the chords. We're going to use a very simple chord progression, really charming chord progression. that is going to help you uh, really, you know, getting into this approach of creating easily okay because if you have like difficult chords it's going to be more difficult so we're going to keep it very simple we're going to have an A minor chord okay and a G major chord okay but we want to be able to improvise okay while playing the chord so we're not going to play the full chord we're only going to play the root note so we're going to play the fifth open string for one bar so you have one two three four and the G major okay we're going to play the third open string which is G which is another root note, okay? The root note of G. And so you're gonna have G for four counts, okay? So you're gonna have one, two, three, four. The reason why we do that is because you wanna play the root note and then you wanna be able to, you know, just freely improvise and create your own melodies without thinking about the, the bass note or without thinking of even, you know, fretting a bass note. That's just why we use A minor and G, so that we can use two open strings and uh, just play them one time and then start improvising. So, A minor, one, two, three, four, and G, two, three, and four. I'm going to repeat that, uh, you know, as long as we want. All right. Now, let me show you the scale that we're going to use. Now we are in the key of A minor. We're gonna learn the A minor scale on one string and then we're gonna start improvising, okay? Now, the A uh, minor on the first string goes like this. You have the first open, then the fret number one, three, five, and seven. So, pretty simple so far. You have zero, one, three, five, seven. Then you're gonna have eight, 10, and 12, okay? Now you can break that down in three sections. For example, I, I like to, you know, uh, break it down like that. You have one, sorry, open, one, three, and then that's the first section. And then you have five, seven, eight, that's the second section, okay? And then 10, 12, that's the third section, okay? But you can really just freely move up and down. So once you memorize that, we're gonna have to combine these notes Okay, with the with the two chords, and so the first exercise we're gonna do is this one. It's very simple. We're gonna play the scale with the bass. So you're gonna have A minor, G, back to A minor, and G. Okay. So pretty simple, uh, for each bass note, I'm playing four notes. So I have four counts, okay, on each chord. One, two, three, four. And then one, two, three, four, okay? All right, very simple. And this is just for you to really start playing around with uh, the melody and the bass note. But obviously we don't want to just play the scale. And so I'm going to give you a few examples that can really, really help you. Now, the awesome thing about this, you know, uh, way of playing is the fact that you don't necessarily have to play the scale always up and down. We can just use few notes from 
the uh, scale, okay? For example. Okay, that was a beautiful phrase and uh, the only different, you know, the only thing that I was doing differently is just that I was playing the bass on each count, okay, just to fill in the gaps, okay, so, one, two, three, four, G, two, three, four, back to A minor. And that's one thing really important guys, you always want to improvise and then you always want to have the last two, three notes that have to be conclusive. You always want to have the feeling of finishing the idea rather than just keep going all the time, okay? So that was pretty simple. All right guys, let me give you another example. We still keeping it pretty simple, okay? Let's try something like that. Another beautiful example and you know I'm using kind of so I'm using this kind of same pattern three notes pattern going up okay and that's a really good idea uh, at the really beginning when you start the kind of really these small patterns two or three notes really really help you to kind of you know figure it out which notes are really really good uh, and how to combine them okay so really take it step by step uh, let me give you another example. Let's try something a little bit more horizontal, something a little bit more jumpy. So it's really hard sometimes, you know, you always want to try to play as much as possible, but I can guarantee you that if you find a way to actually play less and focus much more on, you know, good notes, uh, it's more pleasing once you get, you know, to, to really understand the process here. So don't try to always fill in all the gaps because it's not going to work. Okay. And one thing, like I can't, I can't never really play the same thing twice when you kind of improvise these things. So make sure that you record everything you do because sometimes you come up with some really good ideas and then you instantly forget them. So you have so far three ideas, okay, on one string. Now we want to add the second string as well, which will make things really, really awesome. Okay, so let's learn the scale on the second string. All right, now the A minor on the second string, it sounds like that. Pretty simple. You have the second open, fret one and three. Okay, it's exactly the same as the first string. Then you have fret number five, six, eight. Okay, and then fret number uh, ten, twelve. So the only difference between the first and the second string is the fact that you have fret number five, six, eight, whilst on the first string you have five seven eight that's the only difference then you have ten twelve is the same same on the second and one three is the same for both now now on the second string guys you can focus on two notes okay and do exactly the same exercise focusing on two three notes for example For some reason, the second string sound darker than the first string in terms of mood. It sounds very minor. I mean, um, obviously the first string as well, but it's kind of more dull. Okay. 
So you can do exactly the same exercise, really experiment on the second string and just try different uh, possibilities, okay? But the awesome thing uh, is about, you know, combining both strings. And so let me give you a few examples. For example, if I play something like that, Okay, so as you can see here, I'm just playing in one position. And I'm playing around these five notes. And sometimes things don't really work. For example, if I start with the, with, um, with the, with the D, it doesn't really work. Okay, so like, it, it, you know, you, you have to understand that some of these notes will work perfectly with the chord, like the C. Or the G, okay, or the E, and so if you play around those, it's it's you know you're more likely to come up with something that is musical. So, okay, something like that, for example. And so you need to experiment and come up with your own stuff. Okay, let's try something a little bit more melodic. So that was another idea. And again, guys, you can really experiment and uh, start with one string, then add the second, and then you combine both of them. Take it step by step, guys. Write your own um, ideas, record yourself playing, because I'm telling you, as you start practicing, you will come up with a lot of good ideas, and if you don't record them, they will be gone, okay? So, take it step by step, and I'll see you next time for another video.